and happy Monday, folks. Happy Monday, July 12th, July 12th, 2021, and welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I'm your host, my name is Kyle, and we are playing today for a better tomorrow. Oh, we're back, folks. We are back. A bit of a weird one last week, right? A, a stream hiatus for a week, but we are back with a regularly scheduled week this week, if I can say that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy last week. Um, of course, Monday last week was scheduled off because of the holiday and at the same time celebrating my father's birthday. Um, but the intention was to get back and start streaming on Tuesday. And then life happened. And schedules shifted. Um, things got canceled. Things opened up. Um, travel plans, just everything kind of culminated. And it was this, this decision between stress and stress and stress and try to finagle everything and try to get you know some, some, some semblance of a stream taken care of. Um, or just put the stream on hold for a week. And that's ultimately, of course, a decision I ended up making. I think it was for the best, because um, everything worked out in the end. And we're not gone. We're back. We're back at it this week, folks. July 12th, starting Monday through Thursday. New updated times for our lunchtime streams. We're only playing for an hour today, 11 to noon. Just a reminder, kicking off the new schedule as of this week. Looking forward to our first virtual reality stream this Wednesday night, starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you'll be able to join us then. Um, community day stream, still looking for a good time slot this week. The end of the week's a little crazy. So um, I'm not sure if we'll get a community stream in this week or not. We may look forward to starting those um, on the following but either way, a lot of exciting stuff going into this week. Wolfskatag, I am so glad you could join us this morning. Happy Monday. Hope you've been doing well. Hope um, La Casa is coming along swimmingly. And you haven't missed much. Like I said, um, we haven't been streaming for about a week now. So we're still in the DLC, um, which I'm absolutely loving. And I believe we just finished up doing a lot of little side questy things. So... And there's not much left to do besides push forward with the storyline. And that, folks, is where we'll be headed today. So we'll get a little housekeeping out of the way before we kick things off and really get things rolling. So if you are joining us for the very first time, folks, let me welcome you to Quarters Without Borders and our little corner of the internet, where essentially we play video games and raise money for charity. Right now, we're playing our way through Horizon Zero Dawn, the Complete Edition, and we're actually working through the expansion, the DLC at the end of the game, the Frozen Wilds. We're playing on the hardest available difficulty, which in this case is Ultra Hard. We're doing so with the crosshairs disabled as well, because we want to make it as challenging as possible. Now, the reason for this being, every time we die, fail, or retry, we are donating an additional 25 cents, an additional quarter, to charity. As you can see in the bottom left of your screen, the charity for this game is the Water Project. The Water Project. We've raised a grand total of $84.25 so far, and I'm sure that total will climb as we continue our playthrough. Grandmaster Poncho, happy Monday, happy Monday. Ah, uh, you're calling me out on that one. This week. I make, I, I take, an, I know Jaderite's not here for a little Warhammer 40k reference, but I take an oath of moment that you will be able to subscribe as of this week. Just getting the tax information is not hard, it's just a mental hurdle. It's just sitting down and doing the paperwork. <laughs> uh. It's just my corner of shame over here, folks. My corner of shame. Because you're all absolutely right. And I appreciate y'all keeping me pressured slash honest. <laughs> it's... I mean, I'll be honest. I have... There, 
like any answer I could give you is just simply an excuse. I have no legitimate excuses. Um, it's just life. It's just life. Um, but as I did say a couple weeks ago, as I did say after the anniversary of the channel, I am recommitting. I'm looking forward to what Quarters Without Borders is going to do the second year. So I do. I need to make a point of carving out more time in my day. Finding that time, right? Because we all have the same 24 hours. So it's finding that time, carving it out. <sighs> ah, but you're welcome to. You totally should give me a hard time. You absolutely should. Trust me, I give myself a hard time all the time. <laughs> Lady Dragana, happy Monday and good morning. Glad you could join us. But these things, these things are important. They're important to you folks in the community, in the channel, and they're important to me. So it's important to see where this channel is going to go, where it's going to grow, and you know, at the end of the day, I'm the only one holding it back right now. So we'll get it happening. We'll get it happening. Ah, but yes, um, just an update, of course. If you are just jumping in, um, our our weekday we have the updated schedule for this week. So we are doing a virtual reality stream Wednesday night, Wednesday evening, 8:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're going to look for an extra stream somewhere during the week as well for our Community Day stream. So um, hopefully I'll get information out ahead of time. That's the plan, fingers crossed. So that if anyone would like to join and play in the Community stream, you'll have information ahead of time. So we're not doing all these logistics the day of. So I'll hopefully announce more if I can find out where we're going to fit that stream. Also, today's stream is only going till noon, noon Eastern Standard Time, one hour. That's going to be the same for all of our lunchtime streams going forward this week. What game you playing? For virtual reality? Or the, uh, for community? So, for the first community stream... Think like... Um, it's not going to be a video game. It's going to be like an over-zoom... Um... Imagine escape room meets role-playing game if that's It's not an actual game. You're just <laughs> Think like and and Wuskatagi you'll get this reference <clears throat> Think back to the college days and like the level I made in N plus Something along those lines. Um, at least the goal for the, the first couple of community streams I think will be really fun to have, you know, us interacting in a non-video game style format. Um, but I definitely, you know, going forward, I do want to include, you know, traditional no, tabletop games as well as... It's not going to even notice me attacking it. What? As well as uh, work all more day, traditional while the video games. Their robes. Never. <laughs> well, that's the beauty, right? Because it's a community stream. Community day stream, so it's everybody working together. <laughs> all right. So it has been over a week since um, I've touched this game as well. So let's. See see where we left off. There were a couple of trees we were hunting. That's what we did last time. We kind of made a clockwise circle through the map and we're hunting all these <clears throat> killer trees. And I think there's only one left that I had noticed and I missed it. It was up here by the T-Rex right here. Pardon me. I think that's the last tree. Our main quest here to go to Song's Edge. Oh, we have to challenge the we have to challenge the war chief here. Challenge the war chief to take over his tribe, essentially. So you know what, folks? We're gonna start with that. We're gonna start with that. Greetings, Jaderite. Happy Monday, good sir. And the Emperor protects indeed. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll start with the story content. This tree, I'm sure, will get called back up that way at some point. We have a flamethrower. And we're low on a lot of other supplies. 
Alright, let's do this. Did I need anything for crafting? Fish, rats, and rats. I don't never notice too many rats in this part of the world. Ah, the gaming it hasn't progressed much, so we ended up through through just scheduling changes and things. We actually didn't end up being able to stream at all last week. So we, we're essentially jumping back in where we left off, like a week and a half ago. Books, though, I carved out some time. I made a point last night. I sat down, I did a little game of chess before falling asleep, and then started... So, I guess, the, the for those that aren't familiar with this, right, I'm going through book number 10 of the Horus Heresy series. Uh, where is it? There we go. Tales of Heresy. But it's a compilation of a bunch of short stories. So I started the next one. Um, and the next one's about 100 pages long. I wasn't expecting to be able to knock out as much as I did. I got about like 50 or 60 pages into it. And I was like, you know, I probably should go to bed. <laughs> the hunting grounds are honored by your performance there. Jader Wright, it's the universe, my friend. It's the universe. <laughs> you could say the warp storms of life <laughs> were raging hard last week, blotting out the light of the streaming Astronomicon. As such, you know, we simply went into remission for like a week. All day up on that scaffold, spreading paint across the stone. Right, Wuskatag? Like, oh, like I know that this is gonna sound like a plug for Audible, but I am a big fan of Audible, and I'm sure most of you folks are familiar with it. But I, with with the amount of driving that I end up doing and just commuting and stuff, like I usually have a, a physical book that I'm reading in the evenings, and I'm usually going through like an audio book, um, at, like concurrently at the same time. So yeah, man. It's a great way to just like multitask, which I'm sure isn't the safest thing to do while you're driving a vehicle, but I didn't become a hunter just to run from a challenge. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow out. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yes. And apparently, this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Are they literally brother and sister? Because that's a revelation. And sister. This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. Oh, hey, it's Jose. Happy Monday. You're jumping in at the right time, my friend. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold. I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, 
was this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratak will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. <laughs> it won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. So the whole first 15 minutes of the stream, Jose, was everybody ragging on me because, yeah, that stuff hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I love it though, you're like coming in like a, like a left hook unexpectedly. No, the stuff, stuff is... I'm not even going to say it, right? Because I said it before. It's going to happen, so... <sighs> Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of a Banuk hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Alright, frost figures. What are the frost figures? Ah, it's this little area. Okay. It's not too far. Can't enter that location. she keep talking about that? Is she talking about the big walking robot? Whenever we walk through this area, she always comments about, like, I assume that guy. But he's not hostile. It's the one... I'm not gonna call it a glitch. It might be a glitch. It's the one thing that doesn't make any sense so far with the DLC. It just seems a little inconsistent. It's like the in the main game, there was that one area. There was like one crossroads of the campfire where there was a person that went missing for a side quest. And she has like a, a bit of audio when she walks by saying, this is where he went missing or something along those lines, right? And even though I completed that quest, the entire game, whenever I walked by that crossroads, she would always repeat that line of dialogue. What is that? Oh my, that's gonna step on me if I'm not careful. I got a campfire. Okay, the frost figure should be just up there. A little, uh, a little shout out to Jose's question here because I'm interested in the answer myself. And just in case, um, Wuskatak happens to be away from the computer screen at the moment. But how, how's life going, Wuskatak? How's it been, man? Dragon, it wasn't hot. It was, it was actually like dead, essentially. There were a bunch of hostile machines that were, like, feeding on it. And then I repaired it, and it just started walking around. Like, doing what they do. So it wasn't necessarily hostile. The Frost figures. Naratak and Araya must be close. Alright, well, how do I get up there? Huh. 
Could we've done this fight at the daytime? Let's see what I'm doing. Ooh, got a jumpy spot. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. Yes. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I second that, Wuskatog. I, I second you. that. It's been too long. One hunter to another. Withdraw. Oh! Are you gonna give me the choice to actually withdraw from this? Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get home with this. <laughs> oh, snap. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt, to strive. That is the way of the Banuk. And of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Are those beacons out there, or do I need to just no machines, launch balloons. craft them? It. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Who said anything about three balloons? Well, yes. And as challenger, your path to victory is harder. Uh oh. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. Oh, snap. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. Yeah, but what happens when, if I lose? Can I just challenge him, my mark. like, next week or something? All right. All right. Got to head Let's up go. that mountain. Race to the first challenge site. It looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the path. Oh shoot. What rock paintings? I'm not paying attention. We're just going to follow the items. Oh, there's some paintings. Okay, up we go. Time. There's more rock paintings. But there's like rock rocks. I mean, I guess they're all kind of rock rocks, but like these are like more rocky kind of rocks. Ugh. Am I even going the right way? Better grab that. Looks like the right way. If I don't get to the hunting challenge, I'll lose for sure. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm almost to the top. Woo! Oh, look at that volcano. Hey, dude. All right, Challenger. You need to take off the herd below. Every machine. Who's You're the right. herd? Okay. One. That. Oh my gosh, there's like a gazillion of them. And there's ostriches! What are they doing? Oh, this is so bad. There's tons of ostriches! They said nothing about ostriches! Ow! Oh, 
Okay, we need a different gun. Flamethrower is probably going to be useless. Really, dude? Wait, am I supposed to kill? Who am I supposed to kill? The herd? Because are these? Oh, just kill all the machines. Because the herd would technically be the grazing ones, right? Not the predator ones. Really? Really? Ow. Get out of our little corner here. Corner of Doom. Oh, this is so bad. How are you even still alive, man? Probably because I keep missing every shot. I really don't know how to go any faster than this. Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of them? I'm trying. Where's the ladder? Come on, climb up here. I'm coming. All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. Where's the balloon at? Way over there? Oh my gosh. But what about all the supplies? Oh, can I even lose? Oh, that was Hard close. What he's doing. No time to waste. 
take the rappel point to the next challenge. Oh no. Like I left Don't dally up there, Outlander. Get to the next challenge. Like I left all those robots behind. Like the question is. Don't dally up there, Outlander. Can I actually the lose? Challenge. Can you run out of time? Battlebacks ahead, Challenger. What? Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Get Battlebacks coming up. Okay, I see one. I see two. Oh my gosh! And there's like tigers. Is there really a timer? Because I did not see that. Ooh, all right. Just combine, uh, I guess, get the adrenaline racing and just too much water this morning. Oh, wow. I totally did not notice there was a, a timer. Oh, I'm so going to get screwed on this. Oh, you're totally right. All right. Okay, plan is to just get punched by him. Ow. He's not corrupted. So if I can stun him. Of course. Of course. Now is not the time, everybody! It's not a party! I need like one more stun on that big dude. Oh my gosh! Did he go down? Did he go down? Oh, come on! I need to override! I'm gonna lose it here. I'm gonna lose it here. This is not cool. Where'd the gun go? Change of plans. Wait, that's not a gun? Are you kidding me? Need to get Panther Dude out here on his own. He's about to die. But this is better than nothing. Come on, Broseph, I need you.
go to town, dude. Oh my gosh! Where are the- where's the other one at? Oh my gosh, it's like right there. My dude's still fighting? He with me? I have a feeling he's not still around. Oh, he still is! Do it big, man! Do it big! It's you and me! Yes! Got one more to go, buddy. Come on! Oh my gosh. Ow. Tiger, get him. Nothing. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. That should do it. Varja can finish her forge fire now. We've got extra time on this one. Over here, challenger. Raise your marker. Now, where's that balloon? Nice job, Tiger. Ooh. I better catch that balloon. We're going. No rush. No rush. Unless time rolls over from quest to quest. Now where's that balloon? Okay, not the marker. Okay. Shock arrows are super important in these challenges. Now where's that balloon? What are you waiting I'm out for? of sticks? How did I run out of sticks? It's like the one thing you never run out of. I better get that balloon. I'm going, I'm going. Can't believe I ran out of sticks. Woo! <laughs> Getting that tiger your quarry. was now super helpful. Marker. One to go. I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. What zip line? Oh. Okay. Storm's kicking up. Time is still going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Close now. Almost down. Oh. Come on, come on. All right, the last challenge. More healing items. Whew. Oh man, this is a big arena. <laughs> Uh oh. Something's wrong. 
My kin should be here. Uh oh. Driving in our final quarry. Oh, of course. They're right behind us. We're gonna work together. Oh gosh. Okay. Dude. Oh. Okay, you can take two of them, right? I got the guy on the left. <laughs> it's not just the bear. Exactly. The bears. Uh. Yeah, dude, just go. Yeah, you got the plan, right? Ow. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Angry bear! Ow! Ow! One's down, one's down! Woo! Yeah, critical hit! Oh my gosh, it does so much. Can we move? Can we move? Not, not be here. He ran around him. I know, right? <laughs> like the regenerating suit of armor is so helpful. These icicles, they like keep making them and they're... Oh my gosh! It just is glowing, I assume I can hurt that. Off the cliff, off the cliff. Oh, this is so bad. Traps, there's traps! What are you doing, Alloy? <laughs> Come on, don't just stand there freaking out! Where Duty McDooderson go? Oh, can I? Thank you, thank you. Amazing. There is a cave to hide in.
Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my gosh! No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we didn't kill a single one! Oh. This, hands down, like, this is probably going to be the most difficult fight we've done. Just the enemies in this DLC are... Oh my gosh, that was so weird. Are so much more lethal than anything in the base game. There's, the problem is, the base game, the enemies were either strong or they were fast. They weren't both. The enemies in this expansion are both. Oh, that's not good. They're consistently both. Oh my gosh! Ah! I have no idea where my dude went. Oh. Oh, don't pick that up. I need that. Oh my gosh! They have like ice daggers on their claws! This is a rock! Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, man! <laughs> this is brutal! Oh! Gosh, it's like they know exactly where you're going to be! Shields recharge. Gosh. Oh 
Oh my gosh! I can't- I can't attack from in here. It won't let me draw my weapon. That's lame. I should be able to just hide in here and attack them. Any day you want to kill one of them, man, since you're invincible. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh! So that's new. I just give the best hugs. That was terrifying. Oh, just die. I wish there was friendly fire. Oh no, oh no! Okay, that- the, the whole bear flop belly roll thing is so lame. Oh great, are you kidding me? I'm stuck?! I have no more sticks! I have no more sticks! Woo! I did something to that guy! I'm gonna run out of arrows, because I can't build any more sticks. Oh. Like, legit, I'm gonna run out of arrows. The one thing I've never ran out of the entire game.
<gasps> Will you kill one of them, man? You're supposed to be this great war chief. I'm waiting for you to show me what you got, man. Gosh! Well, that's not good. Where are the bears at? Like, for real, what am I supposed to use? No! Don't eat me! Oh. Man. Kunai Kun, and Jiggly Wiggly Jigglepuff, and Zade Oak. Welcome, welcome, and happy Monday, everybody. We are in quite the predicament right now. We can't, we haven't even dropped a single, a single bear. And we're running out of supplies. Like, I'm literally running out of supplies, throwing ammo at these guys. All right, we got it. We definitely have to keep trying. We got to keep trying, right? What is ow already? For what it's worth time wise. We're only going to noon today, so we are going to be wrapping up here shortly. But I think we can at least get one more try. At least get one more try. Where are you going, dude? Ow! That's not what I wanted to be doing. Get to the zip line! Oh my gosh! It's like no zip line for you!
if he can shoot straight alloy. Oh my gosh, he's right next to me. Ah, oh, strike from above. That's probably going to be my best bet. Keep zip lining and attacking him from above. That's like free, free heavy attacks. Ouch! Come on. Zip line! Strike from above! We got one! We got one! Ah, oh, the strike from above works! Let's do it again! Let's do it again! Get up there! Get up there, Alloy! An angry bear. Thank you for the pigment. Talk. I need you to distract them. Keep them down in the canyon long enough for me to get above. Keep them in the canyon, dog. Sound good. Woo! Woo! I do not think they're in the canyon. I feel like they are no longer caring about Aratok, and it's just me. Zip line above me. This is what I need. This is what I need. Strike from above. Ah! All right, bail, bail. Aratok, I do not get the impression you are actually doing any work right now. Come on, come on, come on! Round two, round two! 
Anybody? Nope! This is not where you want to be either. Alright, we're going a couple minutes over here, folks. Oh gosh. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta go. The blinds. the valley get in the valley get in the valley yes Not good, not good. Where's my full health potion? Ow. Run, run, run. We need distance. We need distance. Ugh. I feel like they're getting angrier. I feel like we did some serious damage to that one. <sighs> okay, um... I don't know. I don't know, folks. We need more zip lines. It's all in the zip line. Sticks. I need all, all the sticks I can get. I feel like Aerotox holding them off right now. I have a moment's peace. I love that you can hear him whis whistle. Yeah, going down, fool! How? How does that ice follow you, like, a mile away? He can't even see me. I'm over, like, three canyons.
Oh. His arm blocked it. One is dead. One now is one bear left. Air attack, why aren't you fighting it? This magic ice spell is complete junk. Complete junk. Go down. Fifteen minutes over, folks. But so it's true. <laughs> we killed the bears. Frost claws. <laughs> the attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. Oh my gosh! If at least you saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She's the better hunter. Oh, snap. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. Take my place behind you on the hunt. We have so much resupplying to do before we can do anything else. <laughs> no more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Yeah, I'm like Chieftain now. <laughs> Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Oh my gosh, that was so... so difficult. Chieftain. The trick was the 
backstabs. Like, using the zip lines to get, like, extra backstabs. Because that does some serious damage to him. Like, if it wasn't for that, this would not have been possible. A new outfit. And a weapon like Artox. Oh, really? Chieftain, Chieftain's gear. Varja will want to take a look at the ice ray. I have a new outfit? I have a Chieftain's outfit? Go to Long Notch to begin your ascent to the Thunder's Drum. It's like the end. The end of the game. Ah, I need that. Okay. Oh man, it's like an ice flamethrower. How cool is that? The Warwick Chieftain outfit may not have a force field, but it provides health recovery over time. So you won't have a force field, but you'll heal. And you have two slots to charge stuff in. Oh man, this game. And now I have an Ice Flamethrower. Or I guess it just is called an Ice Thrower. Man. This might be it, folks. I think this is the end. Like, the next mission. Well, before we're done here, I'm going to loot the bodies of the robots that I destroyed. I've at least earned that. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me... Oh. One way over there. And one a little bit closer. Save these for the trail. the bears. Man, that was that was pretty yeah, intense today, later. folks. That was pretty intense today. Oh, well, they all three died like in the same area. Folks, that about does it for our adventures today. We went a little over, trying out this whole new one-hour short streams. Man, this game does not want to want to give you that. But that's the end of our adventures for today. Oh, man. One quarter, if you can believe it, after all that insanity. That's what we'll pick up. That is what we'll pick up with it on tomorrow, folks. We're back, of course, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. And, folks, I hope you'll be able to join us then. Everybody that came out today, that was an exciting stream. Oh. Thank you so much for being part of it, for spending some of your Monday morning here with us here at Quarters Without Borders. Despite the insane challenge we faced, only a single quarter today, bringing us up to, tentatively speaking, $84.50 all going to the water project. Oh, 
What's good, Tal? It was great to see you again, even virtually, buddy. I'm glad things are going well for you. Oh, hey, it's Jose. Thanks for coming out. Jiggly Wiggly Jigglepuff and Kunai Kun. It's fantastic to see you both. Zade Oak. Hope you got to enjoy enjoy a little bit of the craziness of our stream today. And thanks for checking out the Quarters Without Borders, kind of our, our channel here. Lady Dragana, of course. And... Do we have anyone else? Jade Wright. Lady Dragana and Jade Wright. Grandmaster Poncho putting the pressure on in the beginning of the stream. We had a fantastic audience today, folks. Thank you so much for the continued support. And the continued pressure. It's necessary. It is necessary. Looking forward to... Uh, I guess living up to your expectations and my own for the channel. Man, that was an accomplishment today. I feel good about that battle. <laughs> Folks, have a great rest of your magnificent Monday. Make the most of it out there. I'll catch you on the flip side Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, as always, stay safe out there and happy gaming.